Hey everyone, welcome to Mac OS Genius on the YouTube channel. So today I was going to go through in Plex Server uh, as well as Plex Player. So say for an example, one of your shared users are saying, hey, there's no content available. And you share the right folder, but the videos are not playing, the videos are not listed, so forth. So the best way to do that is, I'll show you an example. So let me remote into one of the computers that I have a player on. So it's my 5K iMac. So then once I get connected, there's this, Seafood Tech Services is actually our umbrella company. So there's Mac OS Junior. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna open up Plex, and you can see this Plex here is a square, so that means it's just a player, not the server. And just to revalidate, uh, you see it's a circle, that's a server. It doesn't really matter what computer it is, but say your, your, your friend, your person you're sharing content with, so forth, says, oh, uh, Plex server is not working because I can't see your media, or they message you somehow, or so forth. So basically, like for an example, so if they go to more, they use it as my server, this is my test server right here, which is called Seafood Test TV Shows. Let's see if I can expand this out. So this is my uh, Seafood Test is a server. Uh, this is the TV shows, and say they're watching their TV shows, or they're wanting to watch TV shows, or wanting to watch their movies or whatever it is you're sharing. So you would they would select this and then it pops up, this library is currently empty. But you're like, well, wait a second, this is TV shows. I know I have content in here. And then they can go to library, uh, they can check no items are available. And then you can also go through the filter in the top left here and then say unmatched or maybe unplayed, or, but it's really already selected on all, every item, but nothing's appearing. So what you'll need to do is it's not them having, having to close the app and restart the app. So like, we'll do that for an example and I will show you the, the difference. So if we go here, go to Plex, do quit. And then I say, okay, so start your Plex again. It should auto log them in into their Plex. Go to more, go to your their TV shows or your TV shows under your name. And it still says no items are in the library. Uh, they even rebooted their computer. They still have the same issue but they can get internet access with no problem. And another way to validate, if they have internet access, they can see. So they would go under the word Plex, select web shows or news or podcasts, whatever it is. And then as long as this pops up and it shows information, that means it's working, it's connected. So to resolve this issue about the TV shows or whatever category it is that it's empty, is what they'll need to do, they can leave it open you go on your server, so this is the player version. I'm gonna minimize this. So right now on the computer that I'm on is the server, is the test server. So I'm gonna go here, go in sharing, and you're gonna see it's a uh, used TV server. So this is just the server. And this server, I only have one content folder that I'm sharing uh, just for tutorials. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. So this is my Plex server. It's gonna ask me possibly for my credential. There you go. So you would go here, seafood test, and then you can select on TV shows. And then it's like, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm getting the same problem. I don't have any media in this library. But then if you scroll down again, see TV shows and select in the three dots here, uh, the ellipsis, select that. And then you wanna select manage library and you wanna select edit. Then while you're in edit under the TV shows or whatever category it is, so you select add folders, and that is the directory that it is pointing to. So let's say for an example, we wanna to go to that directory. So it is the exact same directory, but you see media there, let's uh, touch the first one here. Okay, so it's a force with a flashlight, right? So what we're gonna to need to do is, it's there, but it's not seeing it. Now the reason why it's not seeing it is because um, Plex does not understand what this means. They don't understand what BTS02. This is, I ripped this from my personal DVD. So I'm not uh, doing a DRM or anything. So there is my um, personal DVD of sliders, an old show here. And I'm going to try to shrink this down if I can. Try to show both. Okay, so it is pointing in the right directory. It's not popping up. You're not sure what to do, so you can hit cancel for an example and say, well, maybe it just didn't pick up the file. So you would hit the ellipsis again under TV shows, scan library files. So on top right, library scan complete, edit may be still downloading the internet, and still nothing. You can click on 
a different just make sure that server is accessing the internet and if we do this movies and tv it's taking a little bit and there it goes it's popping up movies and tv from the plex uh tv show so we go back to tv shows and there's still nothing so what you need to do is the naming of the file so this plex server is accessing four different databases uh, the two I know for sure, it's, it, well, this is actually category TV show, but uh, TV show has TV, just like TV, and then it says DB for database, and it accesses this, this database and these other databases as well out there that it tries to find out what this meta information has or the naming of the file. If it doesn't have the metadata already in it, it will have the, uh, the, the file name it looks up. So what you need to do is like say for this one, uh, which was what what was it again? It was uh, the forest with the flashlight, right? So let's see. Yep, there it is. So what you need to do is you'll have to rename this file, and well, it's called sliders. You got to put a hyphen there, and then you got to put in season. Uh, it's zero one. No, no, this is two zero two disc one. So you can put episode zero one. Okay, no, 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 this, yeah, this one, it'll be zero one. So you just put that. If you know the title of the name, which I think it's called uh, Gilligan's something, uh, I forget what it was, I, and we can play and watch it. But let's go ahead and hit enter. Now it says sliders, but you see these other three. So you see a total of four, right? So if we go back to, oops, if we go back to TV shows, back to TV shows, scan library files because you want to update it. Now there's a feature in your settings in the server where you can change the scanning library files and it does it every 30 minutes or every six hours, every 24 hours or whatever. Uh, but you know, to less strain to your server, I just leave it as by default, which is every six hours. So you just go ahead and select scan library files and give it a moment and you should see a population Da, 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 da. There you go. So sliders, it picks up sliders. It says it's season two and it says episode one. Now you don't see a cover on it. If you give it a second, a cover should appear. If it does not appear, you can easily select this little uh, pencil here to edit. And then you select on poster and the poster, it'll give you like images of what's in that video file. So as you can see, it already populated the cover automatically and it gave you that cover. But if you can see, if we go to library, it actually shows you a little bit more detail. So recommend it just shows you that's the season. In the library, it actually shows you there is one item in this, but you see there's th there's total of four in this video, uh, in this folder. So let's say if we go to the fifth one, okay, let's open that. The end of okay it's a bridge so if we change this and we'll just call this something different you can call it sliders which i will do right here and you have to spell it correctly if you don't it's not going to pick up that uh video file or audio file that you have so season zero two uh episode zero five we'll call it okay and because it's it was originally five so if you hit okay you see it up there now there's two and on your server Go back to the TV shows and then select scan library files. And there you go. Now there's two files. So now you can do is you can it says two. So you can click on it and it should show you the main cover and the season cover. So the main cover is just because of the TV show season cover because all the different seasons will have different covers for it too. So if you hit somewhere in the general area, empty area, not the play button or so forth, just hit this general area. Then it breaks it down and it shows you the two episodes. So this is episode one. So episode one was a forest with a flashlight. So you want to touch that and there you go. Okay, so that shows. And then this one here, episode five, appeared to be a bridge in the water. The end of okay, slide. so you know that's working. So in regards of going back to that individual's player, so now we're going to go to their player. So this is going back. So as you see, it's self-populated already. And this is under, so if we select on Plex Web Shows, just so we can refresh it, 
go to TV shows, and then they populate automatically and they can play it. So this is pretty much how to correct the uh, process. If you don't know what episode, the best thing to do is to watch it a little bit. Um, give it a moment here, and there's a bridge right here down here at the bottom. And there you go, time again and world. So if, and the, here it says El Cid. So because you put season five or episode five, it thinks it's El Cid, but really it's really whatever this name that just popped up. Here, time again and world. And you can search that off the internet, tvdatabase.com, and then you can be able to see uh, what episode, what season that's physically from, okay? So that basically explains how to do that. Now, the other thing is in case, well, what if, you wanted to and you wanted to change one of these like say this one's season five let's see can i revert back yes i can so what if you wanted to and this is what you're gonna have to do research on your own uh but if i type in knight rider the old tv show season three we'll say episode uh zero two doesn't matter what is the name, but as long as you have the main title and you have the season and then the episode all in one, it should technically running through the scan of TV shows. And then if you do the scan library files and that will change. So now I made it one video and then now you have Knight Rider, even though it's not Knight Rider because now you're gonna hit this. So it pops up with the bridge with the water. So that's that's how you do the do the naming conventions for the individual files. If you're ripping from DVD and it doesn't pop up the information, you're gonna have to do some research. Uh, but this also applies to movies. So uh, make sure you make it properly, and uh, then you can make your server more unique and special because it's all set up properly. All right. Well, thanks for visiting uh, Mac OS Genius on the YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe for anything related to Plex and other items that we're doing videos during this COVID-19 of 2020. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.